Hi, I'm Jorge Barba. I'm located in Tijuana, Mexico, right across the border from San Diego. Basically, uh, people call me an innovation insurgent because, well, I like to make change happen, basically. That's really my calling card, um, whether it's innovation, just leadership overall. So um, I, have a, I have a marketing agency called Blue Maya, and uh, we basically do uh, innovation work towards creating products that speak for themselves, not so much with advertising. I have a blog called Game Changer. It's about innovation, strategy, leadership, and the psychology behind it. Uh, my favorite, favorite disruption hero is my grandfather. Um, my grandfather was an entrepreneur down here in, in Tijuana. Um, he used to do, uh, I, I think that's, that's because I have my multidisciplinary kind of mindset behind it because I remember him, him doing fashion and he was also an architect and interior designer. My grandfather built his own house. He designed it and even the interior. What I took away from my grandfather or, or that, how he influenced me is that he, I saw he, how he built things with his own hands. He didn't rely on other people. So he liked to play and he actually wanted to build something. He wasn't just thinking about it, um, which is something I do too. I like to actually play around, not just think about ideas and whatever. I have to have a rule, you know, if I can't put something into, into, into action in one day, then it's not worth my time. <laughs> So whatever that means, but it's, that's, that's how it is. You get, get to take action. Um, another thing is that uh, this, this actually have to be useful for somebody. So the way I, the, the one thing I remember was he had to use, have this house right next to the big house where we live. And that house used to, he used it for either the, the people who worked at the house or he brought people who were outside the house to, to pick them up. You know, people who didn't have a home, who didn't have like, uh, a trajectory in their life, so he would use that to 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 provide them a, a, a home for a week or so to build them up, to show them something, to give them tools, to to teach them something. So I mean, I was really young when I when those this, these things happened, but I took them away. I still remember them as if they were yesterday. My favorite structure changes an experience I had when I was 18. I needed a job, and the first job that came up was uh, with FedEx Ground, located in San Diego. So. Basically, I started as a loader. I started loading trucks. And the reason this is a big, a big transformation or a big uh, disruptive moment for me was an epiphany was because um, I changed FedEx. Um, the way I did was uh, on the first month that I was there, I kind of I looked at it and said, you know what? This kind of sucks. I mean, you come in here and do this every day. It doesn't make sense to me. And what I did was I just basically broke rules. I broke stupid rules that existed, um, you know, that people take for granted. And apparently my rules started working because up until the third month that I was there, um, we started, that's when we started breaking a bunch of records, like 27 weeks straight breaking records. We were doing, we were doing kind of similar to the big hub in Los Angeles at that point was an international hub. The San Diego hub was a small one. We were doing almost the same volume as them, all because of my, my, my uh, initiatives or my strategies to break processes and, and how, to, how to make people work too, because that, that created, by me, by, by me breaking processes, um, other people had more ways to work better. So, you know, and, and, and when that happened, I, I met, I met um, Fred Smith, because uh, it was so big what we were doing that uh, everything in fact took note that Fred Smith came down to talk to me because they wanted to meet me. And Fred, the first meeting I had with Fred Smith is he handed me a, a, a contract to be a, well, not the sort manager, but be under the sort manager, but it was basically a management position. So I was 18 years old. I was getting a, an offer for 60K. Uh, you know, for, for, for an 18 year old, that's a lot of money. Uh, basically, my answer to Fred Smith was right across, across me. I said, you know what? I can't do this. This is not what I'm doing. Um, he's like, what do you see yourself doing? I'm like, I'm going to build a big company. It's going to change the world. That's what I told him. He's like, well, when did you want to do that here? I'm like, I'm already doing it. The best compliment that I've ever received was, was from FedEx. Um, one of the managers said, you know what? I don't want you to leave. 
I, I would love to, for you to come and train us in how to think like you do. That is the best compliment I've ever seen. It's not so much about breaking the rules as it is thinking about how, how this breaking those rules are actually going to make things better. So, I mean, if, if, if you're a middle manager, or my advice is always, you know, don't ask for permission. <laughs> and find a way to make it that it isn't a big risk. You know, it's like the typical mindset that exists right now, the fail fast so and, and fix it later or whatever. I mean, it's, it's pretty much that. Experiment, you know, think up an hypothesis, you know, what, what do I want this to happen when I break this? And make sure it doesn't break everything else down. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really that simple. Every leader's challenge is to give, well, it's, it's kind of like giving hope, but at the same time building a bridge. <laughs> and that's not an easy thing to do. Because <laughs> they may follow you, but, you know, at the, at the end of the day, there's still a risk that that person individually has to accept. And it all comes down to the behavior part. Mm -hmm.